What's up guys, before we get going into today's video, it's a very sticky subject, I know, but I want to let you guys know, over at me and old P. Diddy's podcast, yep, at Blind Talk Podcast, we are giving away a two-man turkey hunt for two lucky winners uh, that subscribe to the podcast. I think we've given away, man, we've given away probably four hunts so far between goose, you know, regular goose, snow goose hunts, turkey hunts. Uh, but it's for two guys, April 21st through the 23rd, to come down here to Central Kansas and smack you a gobbler. You and your best buddy. Plus, over on the podcast, we have a bunch of information regarding the ammunition shortage and some very, very special guests over there. The podcast is a ton of fun. A lot of you love it over there. So if you've checked it out, thank you. If you haven't, do so. Let's get into today's video. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. That was a crazy yo, wasn't it? That was a little too much that time. I know I felt that. Ah, much different video today. Welcome back to another one, guys. Um, I was really debating on doing this, this video, uh, but I think it's very necessary. Uh, not saying any names or who it was. Um, I do know who it was, unfortunately, and I did know who hunted this field the last time. Long story short, what this video is about is a huge reminder to pick up your trash. Simple as that, pick up your trash. Because before we get going, um, before we get to the field, I, I wanna clarify a couple things. I am not attacking anybody. I am not um, trying to one-up anybody. I am not trying to look better than anybody. I am simply using this as a tool to bring awareness to all you guys and whoever needs to hear it uh, about picking up your trash after your hunts. I had to turn the old TV off. We're in the lodge, as you can tell. Picking up your trash. When you don't pick up your trash, you affect other hunters. When you're an outfitter and you don't pick up your trash, you affect other outfitters. When you're just a normal weekend warrior, and you don't pick it up, you affect other outfitters as well, right? So we all affect each other, no matter who you are, if you're an outfitter, just a buddy hunter, whatever you're doing, pick up your trash, especially public land, but especially private. It was, um, I pulled into the field today, so, so I seen someone hunting the field two days in a row, just hunted it really, really hard. And, that was fine. The farmer is someone that I hunt on a bunch and I have a very, very good relationship with him, an extremely good relationship with him. I am actually uh, related to his new, which would be, quote, son-in-law, basically. So, uh, yeah, we hit it off and long story short, um, he's had issues with people leaving trash years past so I, I was like you know i'm just gonna go in there drive in which we will here in a minute and i'm gonna look sure enough i looked at t both different spots where they hunted in the field and one of them just i don't think they picked up one shell it's sad it's sad so enough blabbing let's just go and take us a look a look see you can tell that he did not try to pick up a single thing I, I don't get it. Like not even, there, there's so many shells obviously laying in the leaves, on top of the leaves, that Miller, it, it really makes me wonder. Like why were you in such a hurry? Why, why don't you have the time at the end to clean up your mess? It, it's, it's very aggravating guys, so let's go clean it up. I've been thinking about what else to say, you know, and not just make this about drama because this is not about drama. First and foremost, I'm not making this to, um, to get views. I am making this, like I've said, I'm going to be doing more foul Fridays. We're going to get back into the Mythbuster videos, wet shells, cold shells versus hot shells, three inch and a two and three quarter chamber, all that kind of stuff lead versus steel we're gonna get into those videos this summer and i do promise and i just think this is kind of the start of it um 
we're getting to the end of season and I'm seeing a lot of things like this. And again, I'm not stating that I'm freaking perfect, but I've always tried to do it perfect. And I've always tried to promote, especially here on the channel, don't leave your trash. Public is one thing. There's so many people that leave their trash, it's sad. And that literally ruins it for everybody. But on pub or on private land, sorry, on private land, you ruin it for the remote few that actually have permission. And then the remote few, if any, that get or try to get permission later. Like after you done messed it up because you haven't picked up your trash. So we're almost there. What's funny before I get out of the car here, when I originally asked the farmer if I could hunt on his ground, he said, yes, Bob, that sounds great. Um, but I just want to ask you, please, please, please pick up your trash. I have had an issue over the years with people not doing so. And I'm like, absolutely. You do not have to worry about that with me or us here at Sand Hill. Let's go look. All right, here is spot number one. I don't know if they hunted this the first or second day that I seen them here, but check it out. Spot number one. So like I'm saying, they hunted two days in a row on this field. Once here, you can see all, you can see that right there, um, all the grass from the A-frame. Another shell underneath grass right there. Just gonna start making a pile. I know, I, uh, I'm taking this serious because it is freaking serious, y'all. It's, it's bull, it is BS. 100% BS. This is why people ruin it right here. Just gonna go quickly, start picking them up. So these are all federal speed shock number twos. Look under the leaves, on top of the leaves. I'm gonna make a pile. This is in, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pretty much 10 in about one minute. So it took me no effort. That's what's BS. Come on. Come on. Like I said, I'm not stating names or anything, but people do this. It's not just these guys. It's not it's not just one or two. Like people, stop being freaking lazy. Look, other side of the fence. There's one back there that I'm gonna have to cross the fence for. Look at this. It's right here on the other side of the fence. They were ejecting behind them. There's four right there that I reached through the fence again. 20 gauge, uh, browning, three inch, number twos. They're everywhere. Just come on. You're not only ruining it for me, but you're ruining it for uh, other outfitters in our area. And uh, just, it's not okay. Like this stuff, lots of leaves. They use these leaves to blind up. I bet you there's bunches of shells underneath them. This is off one hunt. I'm gonna keep working here. I'll prop you guys up. Didn't take me long, we're done. Right at, I just counted them, 30 shells. 30 shells. Browning 20 gauge, uh, Speed Shock Federal, 12 gauge BB, Fiocchi, and what is this, Herders. And something from a donut. Come on, come on. It wasn't very hard. And again, me doing this, I'm saving myself from not getting kicked off because the farmer wouldn't know who hunted this you know a year later when he comes upon sees all these shell casings here and it's not a good look <sighs> all right like i said they hunted the field two days in a row two different spots two <sighs> thought i was gonna start jamming out there uh two different spots I already kind of scanned over this one. It didn't look like they missed too much, but we shall take a look together. Okay, 
so I'll be quite honest not again not trying to sound perfect but they used a lot of this grass as brush they hid under this tree with A-frames and look at it all just strung out like just it looks like look kick it back kick it back let's put it back against the fence let's get it off its field Ooh, I don't know I call it common sense look at that oh we got a a heavy <laughs> first one Sheesh. just sad it's sad my friends it's sad that I think that there's value in me making these videos this one right here because there is there really is common sense is not very common anymore and I'll be very 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 honest oh like you can thank you or do everything right you're the best hunter i kill the most birds oh we're better than you whatever do you pick up your trash do you make it right with the farmer do you leave it better <clears throat> you know when you did you leave it better than when you arrived some people a lot of people no i don't think so i really don't three and a half inch camp bb this spot's a lot better. Either what probably happened, they honestly probably didn't shoot very much on this spot. I think this is actually where they did hunt the first day. So there's two shells. They probably didn't hunt very or shoot very much on this spot. That's why they hunted the second spot the second day. And I did watch them uh, shoot into a, a couple groups that morning and they did pretty good. I could tell that they were doing pretty good, but um, <sighs> It's uh, common sense isn't so common and uh, just use your brains. Use your brains, people. Come on. Like, honestly, you're going to ruin it for people. You're going to ruin it for all the public hunters. A lot of those public hunters that are out there, that's their only choice. They don't have any private. They don't have any farmers to ask. Maybe they're just too scared to ask, you know, and that's fine, too. I was for a lot of years. Pick up your trash, plain and simple. Pick it up. If you don't, maybe no one else will. And that's just the fact, Jack. No one else will, and guess what? They shut it down. We're already being looked at hardcore as hunters because we, we kill things with guns. With guns, yeah. So, come on, help the cause. I'm not gonna beat the dead horse. Um, I'm, I'm going to end it here. I don't care how long or short this video is. Get, I hope you guys get my point. Spread this word. Tell your friends. Hey, you guys pick up trash while we pick up decoys. Hey, you guys get A-frames all rolled up and secured with all the trash while we do decoys. Somebody has to take charge during the end of the hunt and man that operation. And everybody, even after you think you're done, always do a walkthrough. Make sure. It, it literally takes two minutes to walk through it and make sure you got everything. It's not hard, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, when it comes to safety and stuff like this, we got to spread the good word out here. It's getting harder to hunt. It's getting harder. Everything's getting harder. Outdoors, guns related. We got to protect ourselves and our industry. So stay safe, guys. But until next time.